Ah. What the? This is. That's obviously not the right key. So we're gonna take this out, or we're gonna put the other stand on it. Uh, you know what's that? Okay, so I come in here like this, and I'm going to turn my disc, and it's 920. 920. 920. When, it, when, does it, when is it bad? Well, let's see. It's going to say it's somewhere else. you on, around here now? I think on the edges, or, or, you could do that or right inside? Here. Yeah, it's different on different wheels, but I don't even see it on this one. It's supposed to tell you a, a mm -hmm. number, point with the Oh, the number right here, like T. Uh -huh. T. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I tried to do my own, they couldn't do it. Why not? To ghetto? Uh, it's a supposedly the yeah. entry is too so small. So you take out your little stand, you get the rule. This is what your whole little stand system. You pull this out, you put it away, because you might need it later for drawing. Yep. Put your son, your little, this is the one to cut your... Your rotor. Your rotors, this is the disc. Left for drums. And it's heavy as hell. On vibration and this type of thing, bad. You don't want no vibration. So what you want to do? You don't want to put it all the way in there like that, because then that causes something. So you kind of put it like in the middle, right there. Like not too much in the middle, but kind of you know where there's still ground. Let me see. This right here, you go ahead and you move that right down there. Bring on first so this could kind of center that out. Put it right there, kind of puts it in the center, and it, you feel that little pressure that's the spring doing the whole centering up. Put this on there, and then just kind of press it together. And it. And these, and these machines usually come with them, like little spacers, because this obviously ain't gonna, it's gonna stop right there. So you wanna put your spacers. Now I'm telling you that part because then you'll be in those situations where you're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, like, you know, and you're like, you know, you're like, oh shit. I remember now the spacer. Put the shit spacers on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what stops vibration. This is just to, this is just to stop vibration, you know. And then when you're cutting it, you you know you need that. Okay, so I shut it. And not not this one because it's really here. There you go. Perfect. And all these little weight things on it. That's really nothing. So I don't think. Oh shit! You're gonna have it on the window. So can you go to Centennial High School and drop off a bunch of flyers? Hmm? Can you go to Centennial and drop off a bunch of flyers? Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. If we could get like, because it'd be an easy way for students there to graduate and not get credits. They'd come here and learn how to be cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Just, so cool. just watch what Daryl does and do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> More like watch what you do and do the opposite. Oh, Ooh. You just got moldy. Ooh, I got serious. Taking that Professor Moses. They don't have a body shop, really. What's that? Yeah. She retired. Right? Yeah. There's a body shop. What you should do is watch to adjust it. 
No, he's a teacher for a reason. He's a teacher for a reason. Uh, he didn't get here just from one day to another. He knows. But my good looks didn't hurt. Yeah. They didn't hurt. <laughs> he did. <laughs> All right, see, like with this type of situation, you kind of play with it first, so you can kind of center it out because you don't want this one more higher than this one. You want to want to kind of be evil, evil, you know. So, like level up. So you kind of like más o menos you play with it, you know, so you kind of get it, get it leveled up. You know. That's Daryl's specialty. Yeah, because you don't want to, you don't want to have one side. Okay, oh, this one's all the way up here, and then this one's all the way up here, and not gonna cut right. You gotta have it even. Right, like two of them going like that. Because if this one's over here and this one's over here, that causes vibration. <laughs> it means what you need, you need it to be right here so it won't just... Right. You get me? <laughs> These, you always leave them loose. Uh, These, you leave them loose till you start the process. You, like, After you start like, the process, this, this, is, this you leave, this you leave tight, and then this you leave loose because this so is going to move out. Like, okay? Then you and if you're doing, yeah, then if you're doing a drum, you tighten this and you loosen this. Because then this is going to come out, but this this is going to stay. You hear me? So then when you're doing this, you lock this because you don't want it to move sideways. So you lock that, and then this one you unlock it because you want it to come back. So this one you leave it in, in, in when it comes down to rollers. And it's this. You leave this unlocked. This, this you lock it once you're already back there. Once you're already cutting forward, you lock this. But other than that, don't mess with it. All right, we're good. Gosh. This is gonna have this is gonna have it go slow on that side, and then you bring it on this side, and it has a rapid, a rapid one. Uh, Not if you one. want it, if you, this one's only one speed. Oh, this is just one speed. Oh, then my bad. It's just gonna go slow. <laughs> is it? Let me see. Yeah. All right, then. I won't believe you on that one. Let me see. And what you start here is most people get a reference point. What you start here is the end and you start at 10. No, well you will start in the end. I, my regular, and this is why, because there's a bump right here. Okay, so if you go ahead and just start from the back and you run it, you leave, and then you, when you leave, you're gonna hear a bam! It's gonna turn off on you. Why? Because you never cut off that bump first. So what you do is you come in and you shave that lip off first. And then you go ahead and, com and confidently walk away from your machine. But other than that, don't. You watch it. Because these machines... You start it from the center. You could, but you touch off. You touch off and then you... And then you bring that bump down. Okay. Now you lock right there. And you see that. That bump that's in the edge is coming off. Whenever you start a rotor, even a drum, take that off first in the beginning. Always. Trust me. Always. Yeah, it's the part where the pants don't cut. Yeah, so that's that's lifted. So you want to drop that down. There. There's no lift right there no more. Now you bring it back. You slow it. You could bring it up. So you want to, you know? You got a right there? Uh, man, that's when you start watching. Usually where you want to stop at is where, where the brake pad doesn't touch. You know, so that little rusted area, that's kind of like where you're going to stop at. And then you're going to press it down like about two, what, what is it, 200,000? 2,000, right? 2,000 and then, a cutting should only be about from two thousands to three thousands, no more. You shouldn't be shaving off more than that. And a hair is about a thousand, no? Oh, what? Hair is three to four. Three to four, right? Yeah, so you're just shaving off about a hair. You see, it's kind of different on this machine because they assume that you're only going to make one cut. Yeah. Usually on the two speed machines, you make one cut and you make the other. Yeah, you would make the slow one, then the... No, the fast one, then the slow fast one? one yeah. Fast. See, so right there, I kind of see that it's rusted already right there, so that tells me that nothing's been touched. So the padding is touch there. So I can start from there. This one, I start touching off. See, 
it's only 100,000. So it looks like I'm doing a lot, but it's really going in un pelito, in el pelito. You know? Mm -hmm. And we lock them. Mm -hmm. Then you let it run. And now you could continue working on another machine. Boom, doing the same thing. And then we're confident it won't stop on you. Yeah, pressing calibers in. Yeah, you know? Yeah, there you go. Then like that, you just start doing everything else. Yeah, yeah. Start getting the bread. Yeah, you know, ready. And then like that, by the time you're done, your brake pads on, the little glue thing on, you're just pulling this out to throw it on with it. And then you're starting the whole other one. You know? There's how many machines. I've, I've, had, I've worked at a place where I've had like six of these. And I've worked all six of them at a time. So we're like, have this one running, and we have this one running, and we have, you know? So yeah, that's a decent car, so that's good. And since it's on slow, it's gonna go slow. On this side? No, this side ain't. All right, we should stop it right now and go back before it goes too late. Yeah, that's the problem with taking that light of a cut. Yeah. Now, can you get me hmm, that one right there, that color? This one? Yeah. Okay, now look. You know how those collars? You know how those are flat? Can uh, you hand me one of those, please? Okay. See how this one is flat and straight? Mm -hmm. This is the kind you use when you're going off the disc. See how this is rounded? That's so you can go off the bearing cups. And like that, you, yeah. these you want in the full side, inside and outside. So not just how that one, the inside one. This mm -hmm. one, you're gonna put one inside of it, and then you're gonna put a, still another one outside of it to center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this has to center off the bearing cup. Mm -hmm. So then when it turns, it's centered. You know what I mean? This yeah. is little, this, that little one does that whole centering for this one. Right. Two of these do the centering for the drum, like you're saying. Because it's two sets of bearings, right? Mm -hmm. Center and out. And you pull out your bearing? Yeah, I'll pull them out because then it will yeah. be spinning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And that's rolling for you. Uh, yeah, we could get a drum done here. I'll teach you guys how to do a drum. With a drum, uh, that, that's not too late. You know, like, if you pop, drum pop out with something like that in the shop, they'll be like, what? You want some drums too? Yeah, you want some drums? You want drums? Yeah, we do. Hold on, we'll do a drum work. I'm going to take care of one of these. You oh, get to cut one. Alright. Oh, you found one? You want to know how to turn them? Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to have to take out the whole Right now, after one of them does another one of those, yeah. we turn one of those. And that one, we use this big one. Yeah, it's a setup. Yeah, it's a setup. Yeah. Once you learn the setup, then. Yeah. Setup is a little harder. 